Good morning, everyone. I mean, it's morning for me. If it's not for you, then good, whatever it is, <laughs> time of day. Um, we're gonna do a story time. I think this is my first story time that I've done. Um, I have been told that I am quite the storyteller. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I think I put in way too much details and ramble a lot. But um, we're gonna give it a try. And this is something that happened to me very, very recently. So as you guys know, if you saw my last video, I have moved into a new apartment. And you guys are gonna see this relative setup um, a lot because this is going to be like my office. So I'm gonna be filming in here um, quite a bit. Um, but just to give you a rundown, a background story of how I went about finding my apartment and moving in so I came in the middle of July end of July um, to look for apartments in and I looked for them I looked at five in one day I chose the fifth one this one um, on that day and I signed a contract the same day uh, However, I signed my contract such that I wouldn't be moving in until the 1st of August. So I think I had like two weeks, yeah, it was about two weeks before I actually had to move in that I found this apartment. Um, I didn't want to move in right away because I felt more comfortable um, paying rent on the 1st of every month. I also felt like waiting until my actual contract with my school was over would be a little bit too late because it ended on the 25th of August and um, I would have like a full week of classes so to move things especially because I wanted to move everything myself which is the key point of this video um, it just wouldn't have been enough time so I gave myself a solid like three four weeks to move in from the 1st of August to the 25th of August and we have done that um, <laughs> things are not organized just yet but we're getting there so on to the story um, my neighbor at least one of them hates me <laughs> so I feel like I'm a relatively good tenant slash neighbor I can be noisy at like odd hours of the day I will say that because I wake up really early I wake up um, usually around 6 lately I've been waking up earlier at like 5 5 30 in the morning so you so my day starts pretty freaking early and most people won't wake up until like 7 8 o'clock maybe um, so I do know that I can make noise at really odd hours of the day for some people. The whole plan for me when moving in was to move everything by myself because I wanted to move things in slowly and hopefully be able to organize as I went. The other thing is the parking in my area is really just like free-for-all there is limited parking parking here like there are a lot of cars um and not much space for them so from time to time i would have to park a little bit farther away from the building and then i would wait to for a spot to open up in front of the building because the things that i was lifting were rather heavy um, this day in particular was one of those days. Um, I had actually come the night before and I parked away from the building and then in the morning I woke it up, like I said, at like 5, 6 a.m. Um, and I decided, okay, let's move the car so that it's right in front of the building because that spot was open so I can just take my stuff up and leave because I actually did have to go to work that morning so I was gonna be in front of the building for maybe 30 minutes maybe close to like 45 because I needed to shower too um, but like that was the plan <laughs> this man came around and, and ended up parking in that spot that I had moved away from and 
I had parked in front of the building and as I was parking, I didn't want to like move my car anymore because he was clearly trying to get in the building. I don't want to move my car if somebody's passing in the front or behind it. Um, but then he like looked into my car and was like, "You are you parking here? You can't like don't do that. People can't get into the building." And so he asked me specifically, "Are you moving?" And I said, "Yes." Like with my with the window still rolled up, I nodded, yes, I'm moving. Um, like I was moving my car, just because if I said that, I knew that he would just go, in, I, I thought he would just go into the building, I could do my thing and then move because at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna be there long anyway. Um, so he ended up, after I had already said that I was going to move my car, and the car was still turned on by this, at this point like it wasn't like I didn't insinuate at all that I was not going to move it's just that he was the he was right next to my door so even if I did want to get out of the space I wasn't going to until he wasn't there <laughs> um so I just didn't move because I wanted him to go into the building first um, and he started to raise his voice he needs now, some milk. if you know me as like a general person, I talk a lot of talk. I really do. I talk a lot of talk. Um, but at the end of the day, I know, my family knows, my friends know, I am, I am the most like <laughs> anti-confrontational person ever. There's like only one time of day where I am actually down to get into it with somebody and that is in the morning <laughs> if you wake me up when I have not asked you to wake me up so I apologize to my mother because she has she's like the only person who ever does that and, <laughs> and I'd be wanting to fight her um, but like if you wake me up when I haven't asked you to wake me up in the morning I am cranky if I have just woken up and I'm like, usually I'm hoping that the day will go well, but if somebody comes at me with anger and frustration, I will push back if I have just woken up. Even if I had the best sleep ever, I will still be like, no, not, not this morning. Um, so, this man started to raise his voice and as he did i have never in my life been so excited to have somebody raise their voice at me <laughs> like normally if an older or taller person raises their voice at me i shrink and get really like i cry majority of the time <laughs> like honestly i cry the fact that he was raising his voice and I was low-key like getting excited, I was hyped up. I was like, oh, he wants to fight at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> Ooh. And this man is Korean, so like I have to obviously speak to him in Korean. So I'm like preparing what to say in Korean because he's going off on a tangent about like how I can't park in front of the building like this blocking people's way into the building when I've already said that I was going to move <laughs> um, and I was just thinking through it and then I realized he's going into my building he's going into my building which means he's probably one of my neighbors I should not get into it with this man because if I do I only just moved in if he complains to like the landlord or something, I could easily be kicked out. Well, she tried. At least, you know, she... So, I was just like, you know what? Let's not do, let's not get into it. I took a breath, I rolled down the window and I was just like, I said that I was going to move. And that was it. And he was like, Okay, like he had nothing to say because literally we we've already been through this you came to me the first time You were like, are you going to move? I nodded my head. Yes, and then you 
randomly decided I'm gonna start an argument with this person because I think he just wanted to fight with someone and I was like I said I'm moving that's it I still didn't move my car until he got into the building because again I am not trying to move my car when somebody is near it to then catch a lawsuit because I'm not I don't have the money for that I don't have the funds to support myself let alone somebody else's <laughs> somebody else <laughs> so um yeah so I didn't move my car until he like actually got into the building mind you his whole argument was that my car was blocking the building like the way into the building and people can't get in if my car is there he with his own two two legs walked around my car and into the building okay anyways and then and then he proceeded to wait in the hallway to make sure that I left and for me I was like it's 6 30 nobody's coming to catch this spot I'm just I'm literally just gonna move my car go around the block <laughs> and then move my stuff into the building I'm not here for it today so that's what I did I moved my car around the I went around the block went right back into the same spot he was already in he was inside his apartment at this point I moved all my stuff that I needed to from the car into the apartment and then I took a shower, got changed, got back into the car and at this point I'm in the car setting up my GPS and responding to like any messages before I start to drive because you shouldn't text and drive. <laughs> um, so doing that before I start moving and then right as I'm gearing up the GPS and responding to like my last message I see him and his wife have come downstairs and are now like sitting in the hall or just like waiting in the hallway and I can tell that they're like talking like he's talking about me and my car being here and I just ignored it I was like I'm not about to get into it with you because one, I actually am leaving now, but two, the entire time that my car has been here, you were upstairs, didn't even notice that I had moved my car back, are perfectly capable of walking around my car because you did it like just two seconds, like 30 minutes ago. Uh, what's your argument here? He didn't approach me again or say anything to me in this time, but I, t I definitely took my time. <laughs> like, I was about to leave and I took my time and just, like, did, like, texted the slowest I've ever texted <laughs> and looked up my address the slowest I've ever done it before, linked up my GPS, put on my music, put my phone up and I was like okay now it's time to go and drove off mind you at this point I haven't officially moved into the apartment yet I had started to move my things into the apartment but I myself was not living here this morning particularly I was like I'm not going to even bother reasoning with this man and telling him I'm moving my things because I know that that's not what he wanted to hear he wanted or no actually that's probably what he wanted me I feel like he wanted me to give an excuse as to why I was parked there so that he could then continue an argument which is why when I said that I was moving he stopped and he was just like oh but also I feel like he didn't entirely think that he probably didn't think that I knew Korean because my car is not like it's not tinted uh, the windows aren't tinted you can see through it you could clearly see that I'm not Korean so I feel like initially he did not think that I spoke Korean and so when he was yelling at himself he was literally yelling to himself is what I was thinking because I'm like wait I've already responded I've I've like nodded yes that I'm that I'm leaving and I've I actually signed with my hand like I'm I'm leaving um and then he's just started yelling so yeah, I was like, 
it was just such a funny moment and I've seen this man in my building like a few times like in passing as I'm going inside into my apartment or coming out of my apartment and I've tried to like say hi and he's just not having it yeah that was um my little story time I don't know if it was entertaining at all. I'll try to make it entertaining, I guess. But um, when I edit the video, but um, yeah, that was it. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be an update of some part of the house. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Where I go, the people really wanna know who I is and who I be. They stop and stare when they see me.